Hello, thanks for tuning in. Today, I am out at what used to be Sanford Lake and thought it would be interesting to do a comparison between now and the day the dam failed. I was able to capture some remarkable footage just hours before its unfortunate demise. This is a terrible disaster for everyone in the area and especially those who are in the path of destruction. One bright spot is that there was no loss of life associated with the dam failures or the massive flooding, which is remarkable. I attempted to recreate the same or substantially similar aerial shots so we can compare what the dam looks like today versus the day of its failure, May 19th, 2020. You may notice that the concrete and steel portion of the dam does not appear to be damaged or have failed. Rather, it was the earthen part of the dam highlighted here. At approximately 8 p.m. the night of May 19th, Edensville Dam failed, which is upstream a few miles. That released a torrent of water from Wixom Lake. 
Sanford Lake and the Sanford Dam, which we see here, were already at capacity, and there was no hope once the wall of water and debris from Wixom found its way to this dam. I've yet to read a report of exactly how the failure occurred, but I imagine water began to overtop the earthen portion of the dam, which soon caused it to erode, allowing all the water in Sanford Lake, which now includes all the water from Wixom Lake, to continue down the Titabawasi River, which in turn caused massive flooding, first in the town of Sanford and then in the city of Midland. After the event, there was a massive mountain of debris that ended up in front of the dam. And here you can see crews are hard at work and they've nearly finished with the removal of all the debris. And I don't know if this siren was activated prior to the collapse of the dam, but I would like to imagine that it was. And I feel like government really did its job here and got the word out to all the people downstream to evacuate prior to the failure of the dam. I will try and find a recording of this siren in action and see if I can include that in an upcoming video. Remember this boat from earlier? So I thought I had found it in the pile of debris, but as it turns out, but upon closer inspection, the boat I found here in the pile of debris is not the same one we see floating earlier. But I have tracked down the owner of that floating boat, and I'm going to do an upcoming episode where I interview them, find out where this boat came from, and uh, with a little bit of luck, maybe where it's gone now. Thanks for watching. Questions? Comments? Leave them below.